Test one. There we go. Hello. How you doing? Can you hear me now? There we go. Okay. Atomic Heart has the playstyle of Wolfenstein to you. Vesper, I don't know if you know this, but that's going to be perfect for me. <laughs> I, uh... Vesper, do you, do you know what I used to do for a living? Hmm. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, we're, we're actually... Uh, what I was saying was, hello, everybody. Hi. Um, contrary to popular belief, the Xbox Game Pass is a giant piece of shit. It takes forever to download anything. I had uh, downloaded Atomic Hearts on Steam. And then I realized I could play it for a sixth of the price by paying for a month of Xbox Game Pass. Uh, and I'm I'm broke. So I, uh, I figured I'd save a few ducats. But the cost of ducats is time. But yeah, I... Uh, I, uh, I used to work for Bethesda. Wolfenstein was one of my very first projects with Bethesda. So, uh, I am professionally prepared for that gameplay style. 100%. So I'm excited for that. I, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't kept up with anything about Atomic Heart. I haven't looked at trailers. I haven't looked at anything. The only things that I saw were like the original announcement trailers and I was hooked. I needed that. So uh, that's why we're playing it tonight. Like I didn't even realize it came out until I got an email from Steam being like, hey, this is on your wish list. You want to play that? And I says, uh, yes, I do. But yeah, Wolfenstein and Bioshock are love. We'll love them always. We actually did... um. We did a, a charity streamathon a while back, and uh, the uh, the thing that I chose to do for my end was to melee Nazis in the Wolfenstein franchise, and uh, I had a couple of very nice people dedicate a dollar per melee kill, and I don't think they quite realized how proficient I was at it. So, uh, yeah, we, we collected a lot of money for, uh, for charity. I think between me and the other streamers, it was over like five grand. It was, it was nice. In the business of Nazi killing, business is good. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorting my Tarkov inventory while I wait for this download to finish. I know, it's exciting. But yeah, how was everybody's day? How was everybody's weekend? Oh, well, Vesper, I didn't keep any of that money. That wasn't for me. It was vibing havoc. Yeah, I see you vibing. But yeah, Vesper, I, I, I didn't get to keep a dime of that. That was all going to a cause. When Fudge charity streams, he really charity streams. Like, we go strong in the charity. I can pay my bills. I can get by. But some folk, they need that money. Well, you know, um, ain't nothing like a good, uh, good bit of summer and weekend work. Being 18 years of age really opens up the horizon for what you can do with your free time. It's whatever you want, man. You can do whatever you like. You know, within reason. Don't, like, rob a bank or nothing. Matter of fact, forget I said that. I didn't even suggest that you should rob a bank. No banks. Never banks. How's that download? 
Oh. 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 Good news. It has allegedly completed. You're going to go rob a bank in the name of Great Lord Fudge? Listen. If you're going to rob a bank, you don't name drop me and you make sure I get my cut. You know what I'm saying? All right. Let's fire this son bitch up and see if we can get out of it. It's a lovely starting screen. Yes, Xbox Game Pass. I understand you need me to log in again. No, you can't access my... Fuck out of here. Just give me the game. I want to play. Oh, all right. I have to give you permission. Fuck you, Xbox. I hate you. Fine. 80% for me. Okay, but there are rules. Okay. If you shoot anybody, I'm not involved. Fudge didn't see stuff, didn't know stuff, not involved. I feel like running for the rest of my life. Uh, to the uh, FBI agent assigned to my stream, I have nothing to do with any of that. Oh no, this game laggy as fuck. Uh oh. Uh oh. And this isn't even the game. This is just like the content disclaimer. Oh no. Are we losing frames? No. Shaders are being installed to optimize performance. Common EAL. Okay, let's let's calm it down. Okay, that's that's better. Let's go for ultra. Jesus Christ. My computer is strong as fuck. It shouldn't have this problem. Alright. Uh... Your FBI agent loves you? Why does this look janky as fuck? Hang on, chat. This is this is going crazy. Oh, I don't I don't know if this is going to work out. I guess we're going to find out. Okay, that's it's running it's running cleaner. Maybe it really needed those shaders. Huh. Let's see, art subtitles. Let's let's cool it on the camera shake. Subtitles good. I get more settings than you. Oh, it's probably your graphics card.
bake it for the speech? <laughs> We've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. Uh, yeah, if you're on Xbox, you'll have less options. German SSR? What? Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Sure, thanks. Okay. Thank you, Robo Comrade. Huh. Imagine the Icarus platform. Looks exists. like another bot got stuck in a tree. Okay. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Uh, still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. I mean, I'll give it to the game. It's fucking beautiful. Wow, what a beautiful day. Like, this game is gorgeous. And it's screaming Bioshock to me. up with your Vovas box on tray? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? Let me lie there all day. Number three is booked. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. He's got old bacon okay, on a leash over there. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. Enjoy the celebration. Oh, hey. Oh. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Awaiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. There's so many bots. Oh, my God. I'm sorry, is that, is that a bot juggling other bots? Okay. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. Yeah, that's about right. Hey, Retro. How you doing? Icarus platform residents and facility guests. The address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. You hate the Germans in this Gather game? They're in the super square to hear his address. What's doing with that? It's too bad my social credit rating isn't high enough to get a thought device in the Malachite Dream Color Scheme. Thought device? Get your thought device today. Get connected. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No, nah, thanks. I'm just browsing. Oh, no, thanks. I'm all set. Okay. Buy a copy of the Facility Herald, That's comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing, and just... Thanks a lot, but I gotta go. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? Good day, comrade. 
Come closer. I'm here to help. More thought devices. Would you like a thought device? It's high time. No thanks. I'm all set. I had my polymer treatment yesterday, and I feel really great. And I've already started Step nope. right up. Nope. 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 No thought devices, you thank you. The atom in the picture too? The statue, I'm terribly sorry, comrade, but all the tables have already been booked. Please come back later. I really love the design on these things. But yeah, the Russians. Okay, imagine, if you will, what the Soviet Republic would have been if it were an actual utopian state. Because so far this is looking like it. You got that ice cream? You got that ice cream, baby? Yeah! Nom, 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 nom. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Yeah, and we ain't letting him out. Oh, then is your refrigerator running? Yeah, and it's coming to get you, kid. Ah, oh, crap. Please, Please, enough with the prank calls, Comrade Major. That's fantastic. That's so good. <laughs> Major in the military making child's prank calls. Comrades, comrades. Visitors to Chalamet City, Dr. Sechenov's address will begin in 10 minutes. So awesome. Comrades, assemble near the Brown Plate Memorial for a tour. Learn about the history of Facility 3826. Hear about its great discovery. The Brown Plague. Oh boy. Everyone here seems Z, so happy thank you and so much for the follow. Welcome. Hello, like my name China. is Fudge. You've been to China, Comrade and this is I've been everywhere. Really pretty. I mean, Everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. Chinese and Oh boy. I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. Am I gonna have to fight a projector? I'm gonna have to fight a damn projector, aren't I? Who is this? The black? Am I just supposed to know who this is? No, that's not Stalin, man. Stalin had a mustache. Like, that's that was like his claim to fame, that power mustache. Say what you will about the Soviet Empire. I've always really liked this brutalist, you know, kind of construction style. And the art style of these, uh, these monuments has always just been incredible. Like, if this weren't a video game, I'd think this was in Russia somewhere, just real. Because it looks like what they built. Let's see. Is this English? Can, can I have the subtitle? Give, give me the subtitle! Can't read Cyrillic. Discovery of Polymer, 1936. Comrade Sechenov develops the polymers, a scientific miracle that determines the future course of human civilization in the Soviet Empire and abroad. Okay. What do we got here? Research team, 1937. Pivotal moment in the history of science and tech. The greatest minds in the Soviet Union, all of them outstanding scientists, including comrades Vavilov, Zakharov, Korolov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Sechenov, and Filomenenko. I'm actually really surprised I got that last one right. Uh, and Chelomoy joined forces, forming a scientific group that lays the foundation for astonishing scientific and tech advancement in the USSR and beyond. You fought in the war, Comrade Major. 
Did you just remember okay. something? I gotta no, do I that. My shit. I got a little dude in my hand. I've been drawing a blank ever since Gross. I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I, I can't figure out what it is. Preston's car shows man. up. I'm turning this off. Fuck. Not just the game. Major. My whole house. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. I will turn off my whole house if Preston Garvey appears in this game. Invention of the hydrogen cell. Sachinov and Filomenenko create the first Soviet polymer-based hydrogen cell. From this moment on, the future of Soviet robotics takes on global importance. Oh, hello. The Brown Plague. Okay, I wanted to know about this. Realizing that his fallen is inevitable, the Third Reich strikes a terrible, shameful, and human blow against all mankind and unleashes a deadly virus called the Brown Plague. The disease kills with incredible speed. There's no salvation from the monstrous pandemic, and existing drugs are powerless against it. Oi. Mikey. Suka. Bleat. That's an articulate robot. Honestly, if this was a Tarkov update, I'd play it. Is there more? There's got to be more, right? Ah. 1943. Can I? Give, give me the. Give me the. Give me. Subtitle. Give me the subtitle. Thank you. Creation of facility. Worldwide state-sponsored program of industrial and economic development is launched in the Soviet Union. The pride of Soviet science is created. Facility 3826. The apex of scientific progress in the home of the great scientists in the world. Okay. Collective 1.0. Space? Did you go in space? I was a field medic then. Collective 1.0 neural network has successfully launched facility 3826. It's a global network that brings together all of mankind's greatest achievements. That doesn't really describe it, though. That sounds like brain linking. I want to take a second to really like appreciate the game for a second. Fucking pollen and leaves. There are pollen and just leaf particles falling everywhere. All around where there's trees. It's the little details of this that are just incredible. Alright, last one. First man space flight in 51. Scientific breakthrough for the Soviet Union. A cosmonaut named Yuri Gagarin is the first man to fly into space. That That's... I, I don't remember if Yuri Gagarin was actually the first man in space, but he was the first cosmonaut in space, I think. I mean, it's not like he went anywhere. He flew in a circle and he came back down. We will reach the most distant star. Step and right, right up, comrades. We are taking Take our first Take a look at this. Visualized oh, this is I've got a question. Yes, comrade. How may I help? So, what do you think? Is mankind ready to leave its home? How are you doing, Mikey? A philosophical question. But if you're asking about technology, we'll have it in a couple of years. But whether we're truly ready for it, every person has to make oh. up their own mind. So do you believe in aliens? If I had a ruble for every time I've been asked that question, I'd be a capitalist. But I hope that very soon we will fly to the stars and become aliens to other races. Huh. I never thought about it that way before. Thanks. All right. You can't hit a thing. That's a funny way to use a belliash. Yeah, I was surprised too. Apparently, the MA-9 can use its polymer emitter to form an image-producing grid. In effect, this robot now doubles as a high-resolution video camera and projector. Well, what can you tell me about space? <laughs> That's quite a question. We could talk about it endlessly and still get nowhere. One thing is certain, though. The question, how should we live here on Earth, 
can only be answered out there. Okay. No thanks, I'm good. Fuck me, I just talked to that guy for ten minutes, and I didn't understand a goddamn word he said. You're being if too you hard on the young man. He's just doing his job. He ought to be selling sunflower seeds on the street. <laughs> Space expert, my left nut. Going forward, I hope you can exhibit the same professionalism you expect from those around you. That goes double for you. I still don't really know what these are. Like, look like they inject shit, but I can't tell. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. God, the these are creepy. Of collective. Why does it yeah, have to yeah, have many upper returns? Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. So this want is to the learn Matrix. Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano. With Collective 2.0, you can. Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Skip the four, Playbot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Esper, let's look at it this way. Would you rather know everything about a topic that is known at the time, or would you like to learn how to think for yourself? Hey, Kitten, how you doing? Just stop teasing it. Oh, oh. throws everything on the floor. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system, especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? Demon, be gone. <laughs> for your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever what the that guy's been smoking, just say? sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. No, Z, my, t my uh, TTS is broken. Oh, no. i to get rid of this. Sorry, buddy. You had something for me. Oh, no. Well, you know, I don't think anybody's ever tried it with bits. They normally try it with, like, subs. I mean, you can try. Looking. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Well, see, it didn't work. I fucking love you and it breaks my heart when you say, okay, I read this one the other day, you fucking dude. 
Dollface, how you doing? God damn it, Z. Read it when I have time, but I read it before. I fucking love you, and it breaks my heart when I see you play with someone else or anyone commenting in your profile. I just want to be your boyfriend and put a heart in my profile, linking to your profile, and have a wall text of you commenting cute things. I want to play video games, talk in Discord all night, and watch a movie together. But you just seem so uninterested in me, and it fucking kills me, and I can't take it. Z-Hawk, you are a goober. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing Nah, Z, nah, nah, see, you gotta pay if you wanna fucking copy pasta wall make it. You gots to pay. Ain't gonna be tolerant of all that mess. Calm that down. Finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On the half of all, facility 3826. Okay, Z. All right. I present to you the device of the future. What do you mean, show your feet? Thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. United IRL the intellect of all individuals into a powerful mind. Now, Mikey, you see, you, you, want feet, you gotta just pay feet prices. Thanks to the thought and neural connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic subjects with breathtaking speed. Accessing all human knowledge and, of course, combining it with your own individual discoveries. Listen, you listen. We'll no longer need control Listen, panels. Go, go find my fucking, uh, go find my feet finder account. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office and then you can pay $29.99 and look at my toesy yeah, woesies all you want. Your potential will be unlimited. I love this place. Mikey, thank you for the No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. What is this art? This building is dope. Oh, no feet. <laughs> no, I don't have feet. There are no feet. You must suffer. Sorry, man. They, uh, they did. No feet game sucks. Bad game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry, I don't have feet. I was born without feet. Also, are y'all gonna let that hype train just sit there and die? What are you doing? What are you doing with your lives? Look at this mosaic. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. Hey, can I get some of these statues in my house? No feet. Hype <laughs> train dies. <laughs> Oh, Havoc, thank you for the 100 bits. And there's a hype train. Suck it, Mikey, the hype train's here. Get on board. <laughs> you better find some feet. I got you, dog. Hang on. I will find you some feet. Matter of fact, there's some feet outside. Hold on. There you go, Mikey. Just for you, baby. Is that what you need? Imagine if Warhammer released a game like Atomic Hearts. Where you're a guardsman in a world being corrupted by chaos. Uh, I mean, they kind of already made that. It was called Fire Warrior. 
Oh, oh, you want you want real feet? I got you. See, that's a man. Feet. Look at all the feet, Mikey. They're just for you. Look, man, this this is the Soviet Union. They ain't got no bare feet. All right. So I got you some some cowboy boot feet. We'll settle for socks. I can't help you. Hey, look, how about some how about some iron toes? You want some toes? They got toes. Look at them toes. You want an iron curtain? Wrong website, man. Our leader brought us all together and now he's showing us the way father and son daughter and mother we will sing his praises every day boss man's up here putting this shit on buildings to suck his own dick and mask god nah man you said you wanted an iron curtain was that an iron meat curtain because you were yelling about meat feet definitely wrong website also i'm gonna need this in my house you see this thing can I get this in my house? Why do y'all make this? Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. And I want it. It's so shiny. Uh, do I, do I go? Ah. Okay, I guess I don't need to sit or have a door. This thing's an OSHA violation waiting to happen. Can I step off the edge? No? Is this a well-made game? Really? You've been ratting as a scab lately? You're having a giggle, mate? Uh -huh. If you want a metal atom, you could probably find that pretty cheap. But is it gilded and giant and moving on its own in some hands? The difference does matter, Retro. Gilded Lily Guar? Mm. How do I feel about that? Uh, in home, oh, in home front, it was, uh, North Korea, I thought. Because that's about the only time they're going to take over anything outside of their own border. Talk about style. Science oh. is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove. That never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Thanks, inexplicably hot battle robot. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. Yeah, but what would I ever do without you? Yeah, but. Yeah, but. Are these battle ballet bots? With the yams? Why does the sexy battle bot have a belly button? Why does the sexy battle bot have a belly button and why are they on point? Uh, well, Russia is obsessed with ballet. Um, the belly button is probably for aesthetics, and otherwise, I do not have a clue. But, if I was going to have to pick between robots to hook up with, I'm, um, not kicking them out of the bed. Just saying. I'm just going to back up slowly before they cut my head off with them legs. This 
These robots are designed to have features of a woman, like detailed features? Such enough here. How detailed? Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind. Retro, are not you for myself. The pose Humanity of a video is game on the robot? verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the, the sky will be the beginning of our Man. journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. Retro, do you have the <laughs> Fantasy and, and science storage? go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. You had a brief hyperfixation on ballet, but you've never danced in your life? Huh. See, I don't know me anything about ballet other than ballerina feet can look like they've been through hell. I'm sorry. What? What? What do you mean available in the full version of the game? What does that mean? Okay, chat. Um, we're gonna have to do some investigation because this shit's on fucking Game Pass, and I'm supposed to be able to play the whole thing. Stand by. Oh, it's gotta do some investigation. I have it installed. It's the whole thing. It doesn't identify itself as a demo. Um, I, uh, I don't know what to make of this. This is, this is the full game. Like, th this is not a demo. Like, it's not the premium edition. It's not the gold edition. It's just the game. Oh, this is just happening to people playing it on Game Pass. Oh, okay. That, that's good. So I need to close Atomic Heart, close the Xbox app, reopen the Xbox app, verify that Atomic Heart is now downloading additional assets. Okay. Wow. No, not just the game. The client. So do y'all remember when I said that Xbox Game Pass was a monumental piece of shit? It's like I said that. It's, uh, it, it, it's like, uh, the game knows. But yeah, it took me all of five seconds to find an article about this happening to people.
Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's, uh... Okay. So, it crashed my entire computer, y'all. Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me or no? Still can't hear me? Ah, oh, boy. Do 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 This is a test. <laughs> 